Good evening. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with the latest on another shocking random attack in downtown Vancouver. The beating of a female tourist by a complete stranger this weekend has some residents on edge and community groups are calling on political parties to make public safety an urgent priority. The man accused of punching and repeatedly kicking the woman was in court this morning. CTV's Abigail Turner joins us live with those details. Abigail? Yeah, that's right, Mijang. Massimo Falvo, the man accused in that attack, appeared in B.C. Provincial Court earlier this morning. Now, he remains in custody until his next hearing on Tuesday, and that's when his lawyers are expected to push for a bail hearing, and that date could come in the future. Of course, this wouldn't be the first time he'd be on bail. Massimo Falvo has a long history with the law. Court documents show he was out on probation when police allege he attacked a tourist Sunday morning. I normally feel safe in the city, like just walking around, so I was very concerned that someone got attacked, yeah. It's definitely sad to know, yeah. No, it's definitely, yeah, it's sad to know. Um, I guess it happens in other cities too. Yeah. So. It's kind of a reality for most women. According to the VPD, a 35-year-old woman was walking near Waterfront Station when she was punched in the face and repeatedly kicked. We're always looking to determine what a potential motive was, and sometimes it just isn't one. In this case, it appears to be completely random and unprovoked, so um, that's incredibly concerning. Court documents show Falvo is a repeat offender. He previously pleaded guilty to four counts of aggravated assault. On social media, he appears to brag he was once given probation and not put in jail. Sunday morning's incident is just the latest assault in downtown Vancouver. In September, a shocking attack left one man dead and another with his hand severed. It is frustrating. Incidents like these has downtown Vancouver calling on political parties to make safety in the city's core a priority. We're looking for comprehensive support for individuals living with mental health and addiction. We're looking for increased investments into law enforcement. And we're looking for... Um, uh, more support and more resources around repeat offenders. Now again, next week's date is to arrange a potential bail hearing in the future. That does not guarantee that he could be granted bail, but again, that will all be determined next week. Mijang. All right. Thank you, Abigail.